Hi, this is Dr. Fast here. In this video, I will show you this really cool product that you can install onto your Bose noise canceling headphone. What this device will do is convert your wired Bose headphone to a Bluetooth wireless headphone. Inside this box is the AirMod Bluetooth wireless adapter. Now, this adapter I have is for the Bose Quiet Comfort 15 or QC15. They also make another adapter for the QC25. So let me open this up and I'll show you what this adapter looks like. Here we have the user guide. Here's the adapter. Now this cable with the phono plug on one end and a USB connector on the other end is used to charge this adapter right here. Here's my Bose QC15. Normally when you use this I need to connect this cable to the bottom right here and then plug this 3.5 millimeter headphone jack to my audio device. But with this adapter I can now turn this into a Bluetooth headset. Let's have a closer look at this adapter. It uses Bluetooth 4.1 and is compatible with both Android and Apple devices. Now inside this adapter is a rechargeable battery. When it's fully charged, it can play back music for 15 hours non-stop. The adapter can also be used for phone calls. If you look at the bottom here, there's a hole right here. This is the microphone. It can pick up the audio during a phone call. On this side, we have several multi-function buttons right here. At the top here, we have the plus and minus button. If you press the plus button, it will increase the volume. Pressing the minus button will decrease the volume. If you press and hold the plus button, it will play the next song. If you press and hold the minus button, it will play the previous song. The middle button right here with the play and pause symbol, it will allow you to play and pause the music and also answer a phone call. If you press and hold this button, it will read down the last number. At the bottom here is the power button. You use this button to turn on the power. Also, if you press and hold this button, it will decline an incoming call. And if you do a quick press, it will activate voice command with Siri. To charge the adapter, take this charging cable with the phono plug and plug it into this end. The other end with the USB connector, plug it into your USB charger. And while it's charging, on the power button, there's a red LED that will illuminate. The charge time will take anywhere from 60 to 90 minutes. When the charging is complete, the LED will turn green. To install the adapter is very simple. Where you normally plug the audio connector, you take this adapter and plug it in to the same location. Go ahead and turn on the power on the Bose headphone and then press the power button on the adapter. You'll see now it's flashing blue. To pair your mobile device to the adapter, open up your Bluetooth settings. Here you see the available devices, BT-QC15, select that. Now you see we're connected. Right now I'm playing a YouTube video on my mobile device and the audio is streaming to my Bose headset using this adapter. And if I press the pause button on the adapter, it'll pause the video. If I press it again, it'll unpause it. I can adjust the volume of the headset using the plus and minus button and when I hit maximum volume you hear a beep so right now I have my music player open and same thing if I want to pause it I can pause the music or play it increase and decrease the volume now if I press and hold the plus button it will advance to the next track If I press and hold the minus button, it will go back to the beginning of the track. Press it again, it will go to the last track. And the sound quality is excellent, very clear. It sounds just like when I was using the wire. But with this adapter, now I have the ability to use this wirelessly. So for those of you who own a Bose QC15 or QC25, this is an excellent option to upgrade your Bose headphone from a wired headset to a wireless headset. 
If you're interested in picking up these AirMod Bluetooth adapters for your Bose headphones, I'll put the links for both the QC15 and QC25 in the description below. If you have any questions or comments, leave one in the comment section. And don't forget to click on thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.